What is up guys and welcome back. So today, um, as you guys know from the last video, uh, we are going to be doing some Bondo body filler work on the EG and attacking some of the rust spots. And uh, today in this video, I'm just gonna attack one rust spot and kind of go through with you guys and explain the whole process. Uh, this is my first time doing uh, body filler work. So uh, wish me luck. I'm gonna do as much research as I can and basically, I'm gonna start with uh, sanding it down, getting rid of some of that rust, smoothing it out, um, making sure the body filler is gonna fit, uh, telling you guys which body filler I went with and why, and basically just gonna go down with the whole process of this. So, with further ado, we're gonna be tacking this rust spot today, guys, because this is the one that has been bothering me the most. So, we're gonna tack that one in the rear quarter panel, and uh, yeah. Let's get straight to it. So first off, before you start anything, um, I would just clean down the surface a little bit. Uh, I got a microfiber towel right here. Uh, I got it with some soapy water. So I'm just gonna go over the surface and uh, kind of clean everything off, all, all the dirt and grime. And along with that, you're gonna be getting away some of this loose rust which you really want to do and I already started to get some of that off uh, here's a chunk of loose rust right there some loose rust loose rust loose rust um, all of this is going to be coming off when you take your high grit or your low grit to it and uh, roughing it up uh, all that loose rust is kind of going to fall off anyways so um, yeah you really just want to get the get the surface clean that way all the body filler really sticking well and uh, aren't just held on by loose dirt and whatnot. So I already kind of started before to clean the surface off, but I'm just touching it up a little bit right now with my microfiber, but I would definitely recommend doing this before you get started. See right here, it kind of just flakes off. You don't, want, you don't want any of that because none of that is gonna hold up good when you get your Bondo on. Once I grab my sandpaper, my rough sandpaper, it's gonna take off a good chunk of that and you'll see that very soon. Even take a screwdriver or something, just hit it with it and just get rid of all that loose rust. Okay, so now that you guys got your area cleaned and uh, you got some of that surface rust uh, or some of that loose rust removed, what you're gonna wanna do is uh, grab your rough sandpaper. And uh, for me, I'm gonna be using some 80 grit just to start off and to roughen up the surface and get rid of some more of that loose rust. Also, a little side note uh, for all you guys that are new to Bodywork or Bondo, um, they actually have like a whole kit ready for you guys, and uh, that's how I got this. Um, it really, it says small dent repair kit for rust as well. So basically, right here, the first step: 24 to 80 grit, remove uh, paint and rust. Second one uh, is smooth, smooth and shape body filler, 80 to 320 grit. That's what I'm gonna be using to uh, smoothen out that Bondo, the, the Bondo hair a little bit. And I'll probably even use some of the 80 grit to, uh, to roughen it out a little bit because the finished body fill I'm gonna be using is this one right here. And then for the third blend, you're gonna be going down to 400 to 1000 grit. And number four is to finish it off with a polish. Uh, it's a high grit, 1200 to 5000 grit, which is almost like paper so that's very smooth just to polish it off so yeah let's get straight to it and let's start with our 80 grit so here is my 80 grit sandpaper as you guys see it's very rough and i'm basically just going to start going at it so first i'm going to just start off with this small one right over here and as you guys see it's like bubbling right there um, i'm just going to hit that as well uh, that is just some surface rust that could get even worse if I don't attack it now. See, look at all that. That was literally all loose rust in there that I'm just getting rid of right now.
Also, guys, I would make sure that you're wearing a protective mask, a respirator mask, and a set of uh, work glasses because the rust is going to be flying all over the place, and this is definitely not some stuff that you want to be inhaling or getting into your eyes because it's, just, it's, it's not going to be pretty. So definitely uh, take precautions and wear this type of stuff when you're doing a job as messy as this. So as you guys see, I started the sanding a little bit. Um, and there's still some grime inside here that I can't really reach with the sandpaper So I'm gonna take a screwdriver and kind of just try to get all this loose rust and dirt and grime out of here Stopped at Walmart to pick up a few things. And uh, here's a little EG, guys. We got the sedan. Throwing it back to my old sedan days when I had the black EG. But yeah, just a little nostalgic memories. Just made a quick Walmart run. Uh, when I was sanding it down, uh, as you guys probably seen, I'll show you a little more. That hole went from like a couple inches to like three inches. So I grabbed some Bondo uh, self-adhesive body patch so I can throw that on the back. And that way, when I put the Bondo hair on, it'll stay better and not fall off while I'm driving. And uh, we got some, this is acrylic enamel. Hopefully it'll work as good as like regular paint, but uh, it's gloss white, just something uh, temporary so we can put it over the patch. And I had to stop at the Hot Wheels section, picked up the 85 City Turbo. Uh, haven't have honestly never seen this car before so it looks like a little rally car uh, Looks like it's kind of a rare one too five out of ten. So a little pickup So guys, I finished most of the sanding already with the high grit just getting off of the surface rust and um, It's down to bare metal right now and I did pick up here uh, As I just showed you guys I picked up these uh, self-adhesive bondo patches uh, because once I got all that rust off, the hole really opened up a lot. And uh, so basically I just cut off a sheet of that and rolled it underneath and it's in there. It's not sticking too well. Um, so I'm gonna take my heat gun to it and see if I could uh, heat up that adhesive a little bit and make it stick a little bit better. And then I gotta do the patches over here and then I should be ready for the Bondo hair. So for the most part, I got the self-adhesive body patches all in there um some of them they weren't sticking too good so i kind of just put like a few in there and stuffed them in there that way they're in there nice and stable and not just loosely in there see so yeah i think this should be good enough i might throw in a little bit more but i'm gonna go get some wax paper for the bondo and uh we're gonna start uh putting it in with the hardener and then we're gonna start our first layer and spread it on there and see uh and see what happens guys Bondo hair on there. I caked it up pretty nice. That way I could uh, make sure everything's filled in and I'll just sand it all down later. Um, I might even have to add some more underneath in a little while, but I'm just going to let this dry and see what happens. 
Uh, again, this is my first time doing body filler work, uh, so it might not be the prettiest, but I'm just making my best attempt. Um, but yeah, so before I did that, as you guys saw, I did hit it with the WD-40. Um, I would recommend uh, using a rust converter. You can find them online, your local auto shop, whatever, but when you're doing all that work, you might as well. That way, it prevents a lot of that rust from coming back. Um, so yeah, let's just let this uh, first layer dry. It should take around 20 minutes, and uh, then I'll sand it down and decide whether I should add more Bondo hair or go straight to the regular Bondo body filler to uh, get it ready for paint. Okay, so once your surface is all dry and the Bondo is on there the way you want it, now you could start taking some more rough sandpaper and roughening it down and just making sure it's uh, not all over the place. And uh, then we can get ready for the actual body filler to get the shape back of the car. So it looks like a mess right now, but very soon um, this quarter panel will be looking uh, not new, but a whole lot better. So guys, the Bondo has all dried up on there. It is rock solid, um, and now it's still rough, so I'm gonna hit it with some more uh, low grit sandpaper, then smooth it off with some uh, medium grit, and then I'm gonna hit it with my Bondo body filler, just to get rid of any bumps and bring back to the shape, smooth it down, give it a paint, and she should be on her way. Okay, so now the fiberglass hair, the Bondo fiberglass hair, is all sort of flat on there, and not really, uh, sticking out too much flush on the paint you can even see some of this metal peeping through again um, that's because it's getting right down to that right down to the paint so now we're going to hit it with the uh the actual bondo body filler and fill in any small cracks or bumps and hopefully this gives us a more flush and uh, better finish <laughs> So now that we got our first layer of Bondo body filler on here, and hopefully our last one to fill in any uh, last cracks or bumps, um, we're gonna take some more low grit sandpaper uh, just to flatten the surface down a little bit. And then after that, we can take some higher grit to smooth it off. And uh, then we should be ready for paint. And then maybe even hit it with some higher grit sandpaper just to get it, give it a nice finish. Then prime it up, paint it, and she should be good. So now we got the surface more flat with the low grit and now we're going to work ourselves up, go a little higher. I'm working with some 180 grit right here. So let's try to get rid of these teeny cracks and see what happens. So now as you guys see, there's some little cracks right here, uh, little holes that I'm going to go back over with some, uh, some more body filler just to get rid of any small imperfections. Yeah. And then get your hardener. There she goes. Probably could have mixed it better together a little bit better, but.
Okay guys, so now the Bondo is all uh, is all on there. I sanded it down nice and fine. And uh, she's ready for some paint. So since I don't really care about this car that much, I didn't really cover too much off. I kind of just put a bag over the wheel because I really do not care. I'm probably going to give this a car a paint job in the future, but not today. So for today, just uh, kind of blend it in a little bit. Now we're gonna go at it with our second coat. And uh, yeah, like I said, uh, this was mostly just to get rid of the rust. I really don't care about the paint. It's just kind of to get rid of that Bondo color. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be doing a paint job on this car eventually. And I still have to take my die cutter and go in between the bumper and the quarter panel. And I'm gonna paint over that and probably sand it down a little bit. So this is just to get rid of some of the rust. <laughs> So I'm not sure if any of you guys actually really noticed, but there was a bump along uh, the lining of the quarter panel that I ended up just sanding down because I'm really OCD about this stuff and it was really annoying me. So I sanded that down. I'm going to hit it with some more paint and I still do have to hit this with a die cutter. I might not do that in this video, but just know this is going to get done. I'm not leaving it like that. I might even sand underneath this quarter panel a little bit as well, but uh, this will do for right now. Um, I'm gonna hit this with some paint and let's hopefully the the shape looks a little bit better than it did previously So in my opinion, I could already see the shape coming back if you see like the little indent along the uh, quarter panel It is uh, it's more visible now than it was before I might even touch it up a little bit more after but for the daily beater I'd say this is a, a good job so overall, um, I'm about finished with the job. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was useful for anyone that needed help with Bondo work. Uh, this was my first time, so I know it's probably not the prettiest and it is my daily beater. So I wasn't too overly concerned with how it looked, but honestly, it did come out pretty darn good. If I were to ever look at it, I don't even know if I would think that there was Bondo there. It kind of just looks like a regular quarter panel to me. So I'd say overall, I did a pretty good job on it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it was useful. Stay tuned for more videos. Got the SI chilling over there in the dark. And uh, that's about it. Peace out, fam. Two.